I just, I just don't understand. This life, whenever good thing happens to you, people will just come out to take credit. If you see people that came to me to tell me they were the ones that made it happen. <laughs> I don't know where they came. Cameraman in government house. I just got there, he started telling me, me and governor since morning, no big small fight because of you. <laughs> the, only, the only person we, we don't like to look like in our house is, is my grandmother because uh, she has a gift of complaining. <laughs> my, grandmother can co my grandmother complains for everything. One day rain touched her, she complained. Say that the rain is too hard on her, that doesn't the rain know she's, a, she's an old woman, so why is he hitting her like that? My grandmother complained in the church when they gave her Holy Communion. She said the bread is not today bread. Daddy, wait, and I want to talk to my father. <laughs> yeah, Daddy, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I know secretly you've been praying for me. You don't want to tell me. <laughs> yeah, the prayer is working. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Daddy, I've been looking for a way to see you since. But it's not like I don't want to see you. It's just that the, the protocol... I don't know why. No, it's not like it's not like they're not doing a good job, but I don't know. One particular guy, he always park me very far from the church. <laughs> Before I walk from that side to the church, or it's already fifth service. <laughs> Most times no way to see you. So because of that now me too I've I've decided to join the protocol team in Lekki Church. <laughs> yeah. So that people will not suffer what I'm suffering. So me, I, I try my best to pack people close to the church. Uh, like if you come late now, the church is in Lekki. I used to tell them to pack somewhere very close to the church at uh, Ibejo Lekki. That you know, you know, you know Lagos now, Daddy. So you know that that place is very close to. It's not even far. It's just like from here to a greater. It's not. It's not that far like that. So, so that's why I just tell people to stay. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> Ah, that you forget. Oh, this thing, this thing is not easy. Oh. you see the the things that has been happening, yeah. As I said, I will come and come and share it with you. Honestly, I just I just don't understand this life. Whenever good thing happens to you, people will just come out to take credit. Yeah, like that time they they gave me that appointment, Daddy. This life. If you see, if you see people that came to me to tell me they were the ones that made it happen, <laughs> I don't know where they came. Cameraman in government house. I just got there. He started telling me, me and governor since morning, no big small fight because of you. <laughs> the only just understand some people, eh? And. See, Daddy, I know those, those people that used to pack me far from the church, I know it's not really their fault. And because ever since I, it's been long since we saw, so that our resemblance is now reducing. Uh, it's, now, it's now reducing, so they don't used to know that I'm your son any, anymore. So, uh, so I, I said I would look for a way to, to renew it. Yeah. Yeah, of course, because in my family, we normally look like whoever is taking care of us. Uh, so, we, if you come to my family now, you won't know who we look like. Because anytime my father has money, we look like him. Uh, uh, so, anytime my mother has money, we look like her too. Uh, so, the thing used to hurt my father. So, sometimes he used to go and borrow money just to make sure we look like him. So, so what we do is, the thing is not, it's, it's, a, it's like it's something that is just there. It's not like we do it on our own. And if the money is not coming from you direct, then we don't look like you. 
Yeah, so whenever our father goes to borrow money from our landlord, we start looking like our landlord. Yeah, so, yeah, so <laughs> that's that's what we do. So like now, now that didn't like now that time I was telling you about that ten million thing. That time now, hey, if you give me that money now, me and you carbon copy. <laughs> no, if you see nobody, nobody will see the difference. I will even come here and preach on your behalf. They won't notice. Nobody will know. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> yeah, so, so the, 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 only, the only person we, we don't like to look like in our house is, is my grandmother because uh, she has a gift of complaining. <laughs> my, grandmother can co- my grandmother complains for everything. One day rain touched her, she complained. Say that the rain is too hard on her, that doesn't the rain know she's, a, she's an old woman. So why, why is he hitting her like that? My grandmother complained in the church when they gave her Holy Communion. She said the bread is not today bread. What, what, what even annoyed me is the fact that she was looking for today bread. As if it's today that Jesus died. <laughs> just, just don't understand. Yeah. So, that is this period I've been studying my Bible so much. So, I've come to realize that there is one thing that God hates so much. And that is gossip. And God does not like we believers to always gossip. He does not like it at all. That is why you see that wherever two or three are gathered, he's always there to make sure they are praying and not gossiping. He's always there to make sure things are okay. Yes. Yeah. No, no, we used to stress God too much because most times you just see people gather Christians, you think they are praying, they are just gossiping. If you see Pastor Shoot today, then things that does not concern you, you just be so we used to stress God like God will be here now thinking they are praying. Another people will gather there, you will go again. You, you, it's always there when two or three are gathered. That's why during that lockdown, ah, God was very happy. Uh, because that time there was no way for two or three to gather because of social distancing. So God was resting a lot. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> That is not a small thing, no. During that lockdown period, a lot happened, though. Hmm. People started stealing up and down. If you see my area, people were just stealing things up and down, stealing. Some people came late for, because that time they were looting. Yeah, some people, they arrived there late, so there was nothing to steal. So, so one of them stole signboard and, and left with it, just like that. Uh, people were just taking different things. At that time, if you see, people were just attacking me every day, taking things from me. Because that time I left Lagos and I went to Bayasa. <laughs> and I discovered that every house in Bayasa had one one thief. <laughs> I don't know what because because of the, the way people were robbing now, so everybody was protecting themselves. If you come to this family and steal now, they'll get upset and send their own thief out. They'll go and, they'll go and thief too. So it was, it was just like that. People were just stealing, stealing things up and down. It was, it was, it was very nice. It so got, and it got to a, to a point. They, they started stealing uh, too much. So I don't know how, how it happened. They, I started owing them because they were stealing from, uh, they were stealing from me a lot. So it got to a point. They searched me and they don't see anything. They would tell me, "You they owe us." Forget to daddy. So because of the pressure that time, one of my cousins that was in the house, he said that he has to look for a way to protect himself because the boy doesn't really believe in God like that. So he went to look for one small street, street and cult to join. And I went to join one like and the boy is blind on the left eye. So so he went to join them and they asked him what he can do. He, he said he can be a spy. <laughs> with one eye so to cut the long story short now that it, they are all dead in the cult because he is, he is the cause whenever the enemies are coming from the left he doesn't see them he always sees with the right and he'll be shouting the coast is clear the coast is clear so that was how 
We just came and carried everybody like that. <laughs> uh, that is not a small thing, no. <laughs> no, yeah, a, a lot, a lot has happened, though. Ah, so much has happened, Daddy. If you see, huh. I don't know why people people are just like this in this in this country. Whenever they 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 see you, they they always they always want to to advise you. <laughs> it didn't, it, yes, so it didn't, I don't know. They just feel they just feel they just feel like I didn't spend that money very well. So anytime people see me, they always want to advise me. And there is one thing because they always call me on the phone. There is one thing they always talk. They always have one language. Those kind of people. They always tell you, "I beg, come out for where you there. I want to talk to you." <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they see in that thing. That time that that money came, somebody just called me. They said, ah, Afa, where are you there? I said, I did Lagos. Eh, hey. hi. So they don't give you your money? I said, yes, yeah, so. Hey, thank God, though. I bet come out for where are you there? I want to talk to you. <laughs> so I, I, I shifted. I shifted from where I was. He started advising me and advising me all of a sudden before I knew it. Another person called. That was my auntie. She said, Ah, my son, where are you there? I said, ah, Mommy, I did Lagos. So, hey, thank God, though. Hi. You don't come much shame for your family. I, I said, Yes. So she said, Eh? So then don't give you your money. I said, Yes. Hey, yeah. I beg if you come out for where are you there, I want to talk to you. Give it up. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>